Self-employment in 60 seconds today with... Joshua Sierra from Juicy Project. Joshua, what are you doing with the Juicy Project? So Juicy Project is a coffee company, mm -hmm. but not a classic coffee company. So it's more of a, a immerse uh, people or customers into an experience based in coffee. Wow, How, like where does your love for coffee come from? Well, that starts since Peru. I'm originally from Peru, mm -hmm. and I moved here to Germany six years ago. Mm -hmm. And ever since I tried that first cup of coffee that it reminds me of like orange uh, peel, orange oil, mm -hmm. like I just fall in love and I really wanted to know more about it. Like I was really, really curious about it. So this is more or less where my love for coffee started in. And this is what I also try to show people through Juicy, that people can see coffee how I see it or how um, should be seen actually. So you have a very specific view on the experience of coffee and you would like to have other people to have that same experience? Exactly. This basically um, is not only about the experience, but it's also like a philosophy. It's like a whole package because coffee is such a complex product. It uh, grows in another part of the world and it has to be brought here to Germany. Mm -hmm. Have to be roasted without saying like all the logistics that involve it, um, and then have to be brewed on a way that people can uh, not only see it as a, just a black coffee, but also more than that. Maybe as a five, ten minutes to calm down on the day and to be able to enjoy a complex, luxurious product. Awesome. That sounds absolutely amazing. And uh, when did you decide that you, this is maybe also the path for you to start self-employment? I think when I really wanted to share that with people, when I really wanted to put my approach to coffee uh, in the philosophy and in the terms that I want and not really um, be able to just do it five minutes out of my eight hour jobs. So I wanted to be able to fulfill like my dream. Awesome. And how did you then kind of like go about it? Um, so first, I, I always knew that I wanted to do my, my own thing, my own business, um, because my parents are like uh, business owners. So this was more or less the path I was seeing as a, growing up as a kid. Um, but I always knew that it had to do like with my dream, something I really wanted to do. Um, and does not have to uh, always involve like a lot of money about it mm -hmm. um, in terms of revenue. Mm -hmm. So this is what I've been like kind of like experiencing in the last 10 years when I got into like the coffee industry, not only in South America, but also here in Europe. So I got a lot of experience, a lot of like knowledge about it, how people make money with the coffee in different aspects of coffee and until the point where I wanted to also like how I want to see and make coffee. Uh, also a true believer that uh, we evolve and so do things and so do companies and so do philosophies have to evolve. So this is why I try to bring like the experience of coffee, not on a classic coffee way um, where you enter to a coffee shop and just order a regular drink, but more into a place where people come sit and I approach them and show them a full experience menu based only on coffee. So the ingredients that I use is just coffee and water. That's, that's great. And so do you have your own shop or how do you do it? Um, at the moment I'm doing it like a pop-up, mm -hmm. um, but I, you, I started in Flensburg. Mm -hmm. um, I run it there for two years mm -hmm. and then I moved back to Hamburg. Um, because I just love Hamburg. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I used to live here. Um, yeah, so, but here it was always the plan to like try to make it pop up maybe one month, two months in different places. And I honestly now I really want to bring it into whole Germany and expand it to Europe. Um, yeah, so, so far it's like I've done it here uh, in one, one and a half months, mm -hmm. a full one and a half month. And then I did it a couple of like uh, weekends in different places. Mm -hmm. And it's been always taken really, really good. Okay, that sounds, that sounds great. And um, during your journey, were there uh, highlights and challenges? Ah, of course, like 
any any journey there is always challenges there is always uh, special moments that they will always keep in my mind um, what are there specific ones that that stick out oh i remember um i did this um collaboration with a friend that he also have a coffee company it's called tonquis and we just make coffee from 11 uh, 11 in the morning till six in the night the whole day without stop it was yeah it was amazing it was incredible uh, cool and challenges something particular that's that stands out as well that you really had to overcome yeah i think challenges can go in different aspects can go uh, in terms of like coffee because when you are really deep into like one specific topic and you start realizing that actually um there is a limit that the industry can offer you and if you really want to keep going further you have to kind of like make your own way mm -hmm. so in this way it also offers challenges mm -hmm. and then it also have to be connected in like okay how many resources do you have at that moment to be able to make your own path since the industry cannot provide you any more from this information you are looking for. Yep. Okay, and how did you go about that? Did you kind of like just dive in and then solve it for yourself? I, yeah, kind of like made a um, self-experience, like um, try to get to learn a lot about like the people that uh, are like known as probably the best in the mm -hmm. coffee industry um, in terms that they always uh, bring in some new ideas um, some new philosophies also to be able to uh, apply to the to a coffee. Um, yeah, very cool. And now you have an inter international background. What's it What's it like to found a company in Germany? It's really exciting, actually. It's really exciting. I um, you hear a lot about like uh, how hard it is to be like self-employed in Germany, um, but I think for me that sounds like really challenging and really interesting at the same time. Um, yeah, I mean, of course, it's not, it's like coming to a different country, like, uh, like different language, different culture. So it's definitely, I think, adaptation is a word that is like, uh, will be key. So I had to adapt. And this is what I did uh, years prior before I opened my company. Mm -hmm. So learn a little bit about the culture, uh, speak the language as well. Um, and yeah, like get to, uh, get to know more a little bit about it. And were there specific bureaucratic challenges that were surprising to you? Not, I wouldn't say that were challenging, but uh, there were a lot of steps, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe like the whole pack is like the challenge, like there is always a lot of steps. Uh, but so far it was always, I always see a challenge as an experience and a chance to be able to also learn something, learn something different. So if you knew all about that beforehand, would you still have done it? I, I bet so, yeah. Okay, cool. So. And uh, what's the most important thing that you, that you learned along the journey? To not stress. <laughs> yeah, no, I think like uh, one of the most important things is like to enjoy the journey. I think when I started, I um, always wanted to be in one point. Mm -hmm. And when I arrived to that point, I was going to be able to enjoy. But after a few months, after a year, I understood that it was, you, I have to enjoy the process. And the process is the whole journey. So there is moments in the journey where you are not where you want to be, but you still have to enjoy it. Sometimes it's hard, yes, uh, but I think, uh, yeah. Do you, have specific, do you have specific techniques how you do that? Yeah, I, I just like, honestly, like simple life, like good things, doesn't have to be a lot, just few things uh, that you can be really able to enjoy and that can make you curious about it. I think this is also really important to be curious about what, what we do, what we consume, what we buy, um, because this is what it keeps us like mentally awake, to my, to my, in my opinion, and to uh, awake awareness as well. I, I couldn't agree more with that. And it's like, do you have a specific um, idea where you would like to be in, in five years? Or is it now more kind of like, I'm just going to enjoy the process and try to get the maximum out of it? No, definitely. I think like working, working towards goals is definitely uh, something essential. Um, in my opinion, I have the feeling if I don't have a goal that I'm just swimming in circles, mm -hmm. um, even though it could be a uh, Super enjoyable swim, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think it's definitely um, having a goal will always make me the path. Doesn't mean that in five years that will be the goal. Maybe sometimes after two years you want to change slightly the goal, 
um, but I think working towards a goal is definitely um, a good approach. Awesome. And where do you want to be with Juicy with the Juicy project in five years? Oh, in five years, dream wise or realistic wise? Uh, that's <laughs> up to you. <laughs> um, I would like to actually get a farm, a coffee farm, mm -hmm. and to be able to. Um, um, start renovations in the farm and be able to also like have a coffee roastery mm -hmm. um, yeah and uh, uh, keeping that that juicy project as at the moment I'm really enjoying the pop-up mm -hmm. so so far I'm will be down to be keep doing this like not have like a specific place but collaborate with different people mm -hmm. um, but yeah I would like to be able somehow to hold all the traceability from coffee, from farm to cup, that would be really a nourishing dream. That sounds like an amazing dream. And it's like, you have already learned a lot during your journey being self-employed. If there is a person out there thinking about self-employment, what advice would you give them? I will definitely recommend them to um, do their dream, whatever that means. If their dream is uh, working for someone else, that's totally respectable. Mm -hmm. Um, but if their dream goes farther than that, uh, it may be risky, yes. Uh, it may be hard times, yes. But I think you can go to sleep with a clear mind at the end of the day, knowing that you are doing what your dream is. And I think this is amazing. I, that's beautiful. Thank you so much, Joshua. And I wish that your dream of five years and kind of like owning it from end to end uh, will come true. All yeah, the best. You're welcome. You're welcome. It was uh, nice to, ha uh, to meet you and nice that you guys have me here. <laughs> to all of you. Thank you. <laughs>